Hey everybody, it's me, Chef Mommy, Heather Martin, and I'm very excited that you decided to join us today to tune into another episode of Chef Mommy. Yes, I have a co-star with me today, and he goes by the name of... What's your name, boy? I am in the kitchen today because I know everybody has heard all the rave about Popeye's chicken sandwich. To cut into the chase, this is what you need. I figure everybody can make this really pretty easy at home and um, we eat tofu a lot around here. So what you're going to need to do is get some extra firm tofu. Get a block. Oh, get a block. Hey, get a block. <laughs> get yourself some tofu. I got a block of tofu. And before I forget, I'm wearing a new apron today. Shout out to my friend. My good friend, her name is Janelle and she bought me, she always buys me the greatest aprons and it says, they see me rolling their heads. So you need a block of extra firm tofu. I bought the one that comes like pressed so it really is super firm. And if you want to do this, like I'm doing this at the last minute, but of course guys, you know, you can always take your tofu and marinate it so you can get the flavor in every single bite. But because I'm lazy today, I'm cutting to the chase and I am going to cut Season this. Now if you were doing this to marinate it, I did some yesterday and I did let it sit in the refrigerator for like a day. So I'm just going to put some onion powder on mine. I'm going to put some garlic powder on mine. You can put any kind of seasonings that you think will taste delicious on your chicken patty. And I have some, um, I have some McKay's, the vegan special chicken style seasoning and I'm going to put a little bit of that, just a pinch on it on each patty and I'm also going to use a little bit of liquid smoke just because I think it gives things a meaty flavor so let me get that I forgot to put that out and I do that on both sides both sides of the um, piece of tofu season it up real good and um, also since this is a spicy chicken patty I am going to put some Sprinkle some cayenne pepper on them. Now, if you're cooking for kids, you know, you want to be not making it so hot. And I put some liquid smoke on my pates. And I'm just going to massage it in just a little bit. There you go, little babies. I'm going to massage that into you. Edge. Hi, Mommy. My mom just walked into the kitchen. <laughs> you want to come on over? Come over. Come for a second, Mom, and say hi to everybody on the camera. This is my mom, the original Chef Mommy. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi there. Hi, everybody. Yes, this is Mommy in the kitchen, Mom. I'm making um, some Popeyes. They're chicken fried chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So the kids wanted me to try and see if I can make it. So they challenged me and I am always up for the challenge. Well, she can do it all right. I yes. think she can do it. So I already <laughs> got my chicken over there waiting that I made out of tofu. And now guys, I'm just gonna show you, we've done this before. When I'm frying stuff, I like to use this. So this is the egg replacer, remember I told you? Um, I'm gonna do the equivalent of two eggs in here, I think, maybe three. So I have, you can find out the instructions, I'll keep it in my comments too. I'm just adding some water to my egg replacer and then I'm gonna beat this egg replacer up a little bit. This stuff tends to get really, really thick super fast so you wanna, you may have to like add more water to it as you go if you notice that it's like way thicker than the consistency of an egg, all right? And then we just gotta sit that on the side and let it thicken up. So I have some, I have one cup of milk. And I use soy milk, that's just my preference. You can use whatever milk you like, um, almond milk. And then I have a half of a lemon. And so to get that buttermilk, you could use lemon or you could use vinegar if you don't have a lemon. And you see how when I'm putting the lemon in it, you can kinda see the milk begin to curdle. It's pretty awesome. So, um, just making it kinda like a buttermilk. And to this, I'm going to add some hot sauce <laughs> because this is a hot, and you can do as much or as little hot sauce as you want. It's just because this is the hot, the spicy chicken sandwich. Isn't it spicy chicken sandwich, right guys? All right, so 
So we're gonna aim for that spice, and I added not too much because my kids will probably go crazy, but you guys can be free to add more. So that's that. And what I'm gonna do to just make this easier is I'm gonna mix these two things together. I'm just gonna let this thicken up a little bit more, then I'm gonna mix that into that. And that'll be our wet. And now let's make our dry. This is one cup of, this is one cup of flour, this flour, and because it is Popeye's chicken, I'm thinking about New Orleans, baby. And usually y'all know I don't use none of this kind of seasonings. I just do salt, the um, pink salt, but you can do this, some Tony. Tony's is pretty Cajun-y kind of tasting. And I'm just gonna give it one good pass. Uh, in my comments, I'll leave the direct instructions about how much, because some of you are like, I don't know how much. <coughs> what was that? <coughs> we got it in my system. Wow. What was that? I just choked up the cameraman and myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What was that? A little bit of... I really don't like putting black pepper and stuff. I'll just put a little bit. And I'm gonna add some more. This is a spicy sandwich. We put a little bit more cayenne pepper. Just a sprinkle, guys. I'm gonna put some garlic powder. This is really all of what your sandwich is gonna taste like right here. So if the breading is not good, the sandwich will not be good. That's smoked paprika, which I love. And I'm gonna put a tainty bit of chili powder. And I'm gonna put a chainchy bit of cumin. I don't know, I just like the taste of it. Guys, and then you wanna taste your flour. I know that sounds disgusting, but taste it, see if it's salty enough. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt to mine. Um, and then you wanna just do that. And I think we're ready. This is the messy part. You know it's kinda messy. See, I told you this stuff gets oh, 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 gets like that. But we're gonna add this into the milk. Look at that, it's still. Her patty, and we're gonna baptize it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Then we're gonna take it and put it in there. And notice I'm just using one hand because I really don't wanna get this stuff all everywhere. I probably should have. And what I'm gonna do is do it more than once. So I'm gonna baptize it again, bring it on up. And now I'm gonna dunk it again in here just because we want that really crispy, crispy, crunchiness that this uh, chicken um, has been popular for. And really, if you really wanna take it to the next level, you can even do it a third time. You might wanna just fry one and see if it gives you the effect that you're looking for. But because I want to go over the top and I want to go all the way, I'm gonna baptize it the third time. I'm frying them at about 340, 350-ish. Um, you, you don't want to burn them and you don't want to crowd your fryer because remember it will change the temperature. And be kind of gentle with them because they are just tofu. All right, and after you make sure they have fried and they look golden, remember there's a lot of layers on it, so I like to keep it in there to make sure you're not gonna be biting into no raw flour. Of course, not raw chicken, but there it is. Get yourself a paper towel, nothing fancy, so you can get some of this grease off of it, but isn't that pretty? Those are so beautiful, and there you have it, guys ready to make our spicy chicken sandwich. All right, y'all, we are done frying our chicken patties. And only have y'all heard of wickles? They are spicy pickles and they are wicked. <laughs> They're so good, I love them. So I'm just gonna slather some of this vegans, uh, vegan Hel Hellman's vegan mayo on it.
wait to taste this chicken burger, guys. And I doubled mine up just for the beauty of it all. Double wickles, double chicken, and between two buns. Booyah! Listen, as usual, thank you so much for joining me. You know I do this show for the sake of my kids and for all of those out there who have food allergies or changing your diet, struggling, trying to eat better, trying to do better. Um, don't be discouraged. God is on your side. You can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. And before I end this video, I can't end it without welcoming all of my new followers. Thank you guys for following me on this journey called Life in the Kitchen with my kids. I'm so grateful that you're here. A special shout out to my sister Ebony's social studies classes. They are at Tacoma Academy. Um, actually, I think I always say Academy, but you guys are at Tacoma Prep. And I just want to say thank you. I look forward to a new year with you. Share these videos with your mom, your dad, your auntie, your uncle. Give it all to them. All to them. And do your best. Give it all in class. Get those hundreds. Get those A's. Do the best that you can in class because right now is your time to shine. It's your time to make it count. All of you out there who are starting school, you can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. Nothing can block you. Nothing can stop you. And I'm about to tear up this chicken sandwich. Make it. Let me know if you make it. Subscribe right now. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I don't even know if I can open my mouth wide enough to have this, but I know it's good. Let me take a bite. That was a tiny bite for television. I'm gonna go now while I just tear this up so good. Crunchy, spicy. Look for the recipe in the comments, guys.